chat gpt doesn't have real time information or ability to browse the internet its last knowledge update was in september 2021 anything you ask chat gpt it will answer by analyzing all the data until september 2021 but if you ask about anything that happened after 2021 it will tell you that it doesn't know the answer for example If you ask who won the FIFA World Cup in 2022 it doesn't know the answer you can make it more usable and let it give you updated information from the internet web chat gpt is a free and open source browser extension that enables web access in chat gpt for all users for free also the ability to retrieve web results for the queries extract text from any url of a web page add and use custom prompt templates or some of web chat gpt's primary capabilities it is like the web browsing features rolled out to chat gpt plus users by open ai allowing your uh, chat gpt to access the internet and provide accurate results and source links but it is much faster lightweight and available to all chat gpt users both free and plus go to this address Web Chat GPT is available for Google Chrome, Firefox and Microsoft Edge. Click on Get it on Edge to add Web Chat GPT as a add-on for Edge. Click on Get it on Firefox to add Web Chat GPT as a add-on for Firefox. To add it as a Google Chrome extension, click on Get it on Chrome. You can also add this Chrome extension from Chrome Web Store. In the Chrome browser, click on the three dots at the top right corner. Click on Extensions. Select Visit Chrome Web Store. Enter Web Chat GPT in the search box and press Enter. Click on Web Chat GPT in the search results. Click on Add to Chrome. In the confirmation window click on add extension. Web chat GPT is added to Chrome as an extension. The chat.openai page is opened. Once you have installed the Google Chrome extension, the icon will appear in the extensions menu in the toolbar. To pin the web chat GPT icon to the toolbar, click on the pin icon beside the web chat GPT. Web Chat GPT is pinned to the toolbar. When you click on it, it will open the Chat GPT. If you don't have a Chat GPT account, create one by clicking on Sign Up. If you have an account, log into the account. This extension adds a menu below the default input box. Now, when you enter a query in Chat GPT, this Chrome extension will send that query to a search engine. The search results will be injected into the ChatGPT conversation. Along with the web search results, it will also write a prompt asking ChatGPT to give you an answer based on the search results. For example, ask who won FIFA Cup in 2022. A new prompt is created by ChatGPT to use the search results as references and give the answer. The default number of search results included in ChatGPT is 3. You can change the number of search results to be included in the ChatGPT using the drop-down. For example, change it to 1. Now only one search result is returned and used by ChatGPT. Custom prompts A great feature of Web Chat GPT is the possibility to create custom prompts that work with search results and queries. For example, create a custom prompt to get the list of US cabinet members in a tabular form with name in column 1 and post in column 2. Select new prompt from the drop-down menu on the right and new tab will open in which you can create a custom web chat gpt prompt click on plus new prompt name the prompt for example us cabinet use the variables web results query current date to refer to the search results or your 
search query that is what you enter in the chat gpt input enter this prompt in the box below the name when you use this prompt the results are returned in a table with name as column 1 and post as column 2 save the custom prompt now it shows up in the drop down list select the custom prompt us cabinet now when you ask chat gpt for us cabinet it will display the results in a table with columns name and post slash commands web chat gpt currently offers two preset slash commands that let you refine the search results being used in the prompts slash site this command is intended to limit search results to a specific website select slash site enter the site address after the colon followed by the query transformers colon rise of the beast cast chat gpt returns the list of cast of the movie from imdb site unfortunately this only sets a preference for the website you enter it does not limit the search results notice the cast is returned from reference to which is the website we gave slash page this command allows you to scrape a single website for information keep in mind that this will result in an error when the website you specify has too much text to fit into chat gpt's context window select slash page for example we can get the cast for transformers from the wikipedia page enter the url for the page after the colon followed by the query web chat gpt scrapes the page specified and inject the results into chat gpt conversation list of cast is returned from those results by chat gpt how to disable web access if you want to revert chat gpt to its default state you can disable web access easily with the toggle alternatively you can remove the extension from your browser click on customize and control google chrome three dots at the top right corner click on extensions and select manage extensions find web chat gpt extension and in the box click on remove in the confirmation window click on remove web chat gpt is removed completely if you like this video please subscribe to our channel